guys what is up <coughs> I don't know you know how you do still like you think something out you're gonna do it and you like yeah that it sounded better in my head when I was going through it but that was really ugly anyway so guys you already know what it is it's time for another video and welcome back it is your girl Celeste Renee and today actually it's literally like 9 45 in the morning it's Saturday in Houston if you live in Houston today is it's been raining all month. It's September, so it's been raining all month. I don't want to tell y'all what the date is because I was going to say I was going to upload this today, but then if I don't upload it today, I don't want to show you like, girl, you said it was this day and you uploaded on this date. So I was like, mm, let me not play myself because some people, like, they really be trying you. So, you know, I'm just trying to, like, you know, prevent try tryonization. It's really hot in my apartment. It's, like, raining outside, so I opened up the... That didn't even matter to y'all. It didn't matter. So, anyways, I'm going to keep this video really nice and short because people have been coming for me saying my videos are too long. So, I'm going to give y'all what y'all want. I mean, sorry. I talk a lot and I get a little off track, but I'm just going to stay on track today. So, this video, hopefully, it will be five minutes or less. Well, I'm already at a minute 37, so mm, six minutes or less. And, um, yeah, anyways, let's get started. So, guys, this morning, I weigh myself every morning, right? And this morning, I got on the scale, guys, and I had lost 34 pounds. And I was like, oh... You know, I'm trying not to curse, but I was like, I have to like post this video right now because guys, I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like, this has been literally the hardest, like, <sighs> losing weight is hard as fuck. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to curse, but it's really hard. And like, I'm just so proud of myself that I really stuck to it. Like, I don't know, like I've done, like I've been small, I've been big, I've been small, I've been big. Like, this is the first time I've actually really stuck to it and like got my mind. like in the space where I'm just like, girl, you're gonna do this, you're gonna kill it, and yes, yeah, so I'm just really excited, guys, like, ooh, like, literally, like, when I, because literally, I was gonna, like, I'm not even gonna weigh myself this morning, because last night I had some Cheetos, and I was like, I probably gained, like, five pounds, I was like, I'm not even gonna weigh myself, and something was like, girl, weigh yourself, girl, weigh yourself, and I looked, and I was like, bah! so I'm really excited, so just so y'all know, I'm not scamming y'all, y'all know I'm all about my receipts, because People will try to come for you, and I'm not here for the conversation. So, um, I'm going to show y'all the proof because, hmm, some people on here be saying they be losing poundage, and they don't. But, as you can see, this is my fitness pal. Y'all know my camera is, like, never... Oh, you can kind of see it right there. Oh, zoom in again, honey. Zoom in again. But y'all can see. It's blurry, but you can see. That says 30.3 pounds. Per... Oh, there we go, right there. Y'all can follow me on, um... Fit me. What is this? Fitbit. This is not Fitbit. This is um my fitness pal. Y'all follow me on there too. Uh, I don't really use my fitness pal that often. I just like how it tracks your progress. But um I use Fitbit a lot. So I'm like Fitbit gang. I can't wait for the new Fitbit. I can't wait for the new Fitbit to come out because like I'm all here for the Fitbit. So yeah. Um but yeah guys, like I'm just so excited. Like ooh. I don't even know. And like it's so crazy because I kind of like. I didn't stop eating because y'all know when I lost the first 20 pounds, I was eating like literally eggs every day. Like I was just hungry all the freaking time. And so this time I really just listened to my, cause I had one month cause this has been like a two month period. The first month I did 20 and so I was trying to hit the 30 pounds before two months was up so I can like be consistent. Cause I'm like, it's easier to lose an additional 10 than it is to do 20. So I kind of eased up a little bit, but I feel like when I added in the weight training, that's what really made a difference because like, I do boxing class, so I'm always doing cardio workouts, but I wasn't really doing, like, the weight training, and I could kind of tell that, like, my body was, like, like, kind of saggy looking. So, like, y'all already know my, like, my, my big area that I'm trying to work on are my arms, and so I started, like, really, like, focusing in on weight training. So, like, I would do arm exercises every day, and y'all, first off, I tried on a shirt that I, like, literally brought last year. I could not fit it because these ham hock arms just would not let me be great, and y'all, it fit. And I was like really excited. I'm literally getting emotional right now because it's just like, y'all, this shit is hard. Like, people try to act like it's so easy, especially, and it really makes me upset when there's like people who are like fitness models, Instagram models who are like ma making it seem like they work out all the time when you out here getting plastic surgery. Like, if I wanted to, I could go get some plastic surgery and be snatched in a day. But you know, I'm trying to be honest and let people follow my journey with me. And I'm just like, I'm just happy. I'm really happy. Like, literally, guys, I'm about to go to the gym right now. I'm about to go do a double in boxing class. That's how excited I am. I'm like, yes, girl, you did this. We're going to keep the momentum going. Like, no slowing down. Yes. So, 
guys all i really have to say for like how i lost the like the 30 pounds all together is stay consistent like seriously like it's hard like i know it's hard some days you're gonna have bad days but when you fall off like don't i'm not gonna say don't get sad because i got sad too but like don't just like i'm not gonna say don't binge you because i did that too but just try hard like if you like fall down like just get up i know it sounds so cliche dust yourself off again but it's real life like get up and just do it again like we're human beings like shit nobody's freaking perfect out here and if you are perfect you lying and you probably think you're perfect but you're not perfect so hmm. but yes guys this fan feels so good i feel like beyonce right now like <sighs> Anyways, but yes, yeah, stay consistent. Um, use some type of fitness app. Because, like, my fitness pal, I, I, like, put my first couple of meals on there. But sometimes I forget. But at least it, like, tracks it. And, like, for me, the big thing for me is I weigh myself every morning. Like, no matter what, I weigh myself every morning. And I have a Fitbit scale, so it, like, syncs to my Fitbit. So I can kind of see, like, okay, I ate this much today. This is how many calories I worked out. So I can kind of see, make sure I have like a calorie deficit because that's all it is. Like you might have to always, you always have to have a calorie deficit. If you eat a thousand calories, then you need to burn out. You need to work out and burn a thousand five hundred calories. Like so you can have that deficit. Or if you work out and you burn five hundred calories, then you need to eat two hundred fifty. And that's psychotic. So I don't suggest doing that. But, you know, just make sure like you can't eat five thousand calories and then work out for two hundred calories. Like, I mean, it doesn't really work well for me and everybody's different i'm not a licensed nutritionist dietitian doctor nothing like that so don't come for me uh, i'm just saying what works for me all i can tell you is what works for me i know for me i have to like i keep my calories low and i work out a lot more because i when i do eat i'd like to eat so if i do have like you know a pizza actually i really don't even eat pizza that often if i do it's, i just eat like the cheese off of it and the toppings but this video is almost at seven minutes and i really don't want anybody coming for me because guys people have been coming for me like crazy saying my videos are too long i'm talking too much and i'm not even getting to the point so i'm like hmm anyway so i'm just gonna give y'all my five bullet points real fast and shut this shit down so number one stay consistent number two actually number one believe in yourself know that you can do it you can do it no matter what even if you fall off even if you gain 50 pounds like it doesn't matter you can do it just keep chugging number two stay consistent like once you start to see results you're gonna stay consistent because you're gonna be like yes is she looking cute ah. and then number three believe in yourself again like i said i think that was number one i kind of forgot mm. but believe in yourself number two only have L actually that's number four mm, not a crackhead uh only have healthy foods in your house guys like that saved me all i have in my refrigerator like if y'all came to my house y'all be like is this bitch broke no i literally keep like the bare minimum in my house like i have a jar of pickles some chicken and eggs so like if i want to eat some almonds so if i like feel like snacking i have to literally get out my house go somewhere to get it so i'm not about to do all that so that really helps me a lot and um there was gonna be a fifth one but i don't have it so <laughs> positive guys like oh and for me i'm like big on like writing stuff down so in my restroom one day i'll take y'all in there i have like affirmations like all on my window like my mirror because like if you see it in like yeah oh that was number five because i was just making that up as i go because i wanted to have five but number five was take pictures take before and after pictures guys like you have to take pictures like when i legit looked at my before and after picture i was like First off, my BDD was flaring up. Okay, I know I said I was gonna stop, but guys, I just I just have to say this. So I thought my B, like my BDD be flaring up like crazy. Uh, BDD, I call it body dysmorphic disorder. But like guys, like when I tell you, your mind plays so many tricks on you. I'm gonna do a video on that because that's just like a whole hour I can talk about that. But take pictures because some days I wake up and I'm like I've lost all this weight, but I still feel bigger now than I did back then. Like it's so crazy. But then when I look through the pictures, I was like, girl, like you was a brick house, like. You a brick house now, but you was like a sturdy brick house back then. And so it's just like crazy because I'm like, back then I thought I was like slim thick. And I'm like, girl, no. So take pictures. Pictures will not lie. Even if your mind tells you like, girl, you don't really look like that. Like you look like that. Believe in yourself. And so, yes, guys, you can do it. We can actually it's not you can do it. We can do this. We're all in this together. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. because I'm really excited. And hopefully I have some more videos coming up. I'm trying to stay more consistent. As you guys can see, I've been posting a lot and just, you know, the tip of today is just live positively. Just have good energy. Drink your water. This, drink water and just live your best life, guys. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And y'all, like, literally keep me motivated. Y'all don't even know. Like, sometimes I want to eat a burger and I'm like, 
ooh, I gotta make a YouTube video. I don't want them to be like, girl, you're looking a little thick. So, yes, thank you for just keeping me on track and hopefully, like, you know, I help you guys, like, stay motivated. If not, sorry. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm just about to go to the gym and work out. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye!